There is frustration tonight, even though the preacher who built his Mira Mesa congregation out of millions of dollars has received the maximum punishment. Good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson. And I'm Kimberly Hunt. Barry Minkow was sentenced today as he stars in a movie being made about his life. New at 7 o'clock, 10 News reporter Matt Mendez explains how the film is going forward even with Minkow locked up. Parishioners here at Community Bible Church say they trusted Barry Minkow. Even though he was already convicted twice of fraud, they say the sentence is too little and there's nothing that's going to stop him from doing this again. I would have liked to have seen some remorse and restitution, uh, an apology to the people that he hurt. Pastor Scott Lowther isn't satisfied with Barry Minkow's five-year prison sentence. Minkow was once the senior pastor here at Community Bible Church in Mira Mesa and was trusted by many parishioners, including Debbie Roller. He used the congregation, the people. He developed relationships with people so that um, he can benefit himself in the long run. Minkow stole more than $3 million from the church and its congregation over 10 years. He opened up fraudulent bank accounts in his name and took out loans. At his sentencing, he declined to speak and kept his head down as victims read emotional statements about how their lives are forever changed. Minkow came to the church after claiming he had turned his life around. He even made appearances on 60 Minutes and Oprah as a changed man after serving seven years in prison for a Ponzi scheme until I realized that my whole life was a con. And now his intriguing story will be made into a movie. Minkow is playing the older version of himself and it includes Hollywood heavyweights like James Caan. Now the film's director is making appropriate changes. There's two ways to shoot it. Either we rewrite Barry out completely and show all the different levels he was doing while he's a pastor, while he's working for the feds, while he's shorting stocks, while he's sucking out money from the church. Or we're going to do similar to what Reds did back in the day. Uh, in the Warren Beatty film with the Bolshevik, and they, they put in real people. Mean Cow won't make a dime off the movie and will head back to court next month to find out how he'll repay his victims. Matt Mendes, 10 News.